<laughs> okay, I think we're recording on yes. all channels. So English. yeah, Annabelle is now with me on the talking mm -hmm. spot. And Peter is drawing right now. So yeah, for our Fatsuki right now modeling, I think um, I mean, we talked about it before, but something like witchy would be nice as a theme. Yeah, I think so. So, <laughs> so yeah, I mean witchy, that's the topic for this post. And it's going to be 15 minutes long as all the other ones. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, Anada is like a lovely member of our Drink and Draw community. And I've known you for like one and a half years now, I think. Yes. And you just finished with your bachelor, I think, like yeah, a month right. ago. So uh, yeah, I finished my Bachelor of Arts in August and since then I'm working on my portfolio and trying to find some new inspirations what I can do, like nice. getting into also different arts like uh, singing, making music Ooh. and um, yeah, last week I did my first tattoo with Julian, for example. Awesome. Like I, I tried to um, pick as much stuff as I can because like, I'm interested in so many things and I guess it's important to always yeah, try new things nice. out. And that's good. Basically, like spreading your wings into all kinds yeah, of different so, directions. Because you never now. know what's coming. That's sure, that's for sure. And I mean, like you said, you're really interested in all kinds of things. So maybe you just need to find out like what is in your very near future kind of the most epic thing for you to do, basically, right? Oh my god, I was <laughs> thinking about that today actually because I thought when I went to study, I thought, okay, I will do 3D animation. I will totally be an animator and. Then I went there and it was, I opened my and I was like, no, no, that's not for me. <laughs> that's, that's nothing I want to do for long term. And so I was going into illustration again, like into visual, because we had this course with uh, with one of my mentors um, called visual development. And I was like, oh my God, this is a real thing. You can like work in that business, like um, for, for example, animation or game mm -hmm. uh, in the games industry. And yeah, so since I'm working on my portfolio and applying for jobs and yeah of course we have the situation with corona at the moment it's really hard to find a job mm. I'm thinking about okay hey what can I do if that's not gonna happen mm -hmm. and um, yeah at the moment I'm not sure if I want to do illustration or um, concept art anymore oh, okay <laughs> it's so crazy because I thought like how can I make it easier for me how can I um, be as efficient um, as I could. Maybe. Yeah, for like if I'm taking 60 hours for an illustration, that's a lot. That's mm -hmm. insane. And then like I did a little illustration or a tattoo design for um, the tattoo I did, yeah. and it took me like one hour. And people loved it. And I was like, God damn it! Uh, How did I spend like yeah. 60 hours on other stuff? And then yeah. It, yeah, so I will go more into that and like mm -hmm. look what do people want what makes me happy and yeah to not lose my intention yeah so basically what you said is to find like the point where what you like doing meets what people like about yeah. you basically or like your fan base i mean you are really active on social media mm -hmm. thing and so that kind of really plays into it i think That's and right, what you want yeah. to do so but really finding that sweet spot basically between mm -hmm. what you really like doing and what yeah. kind of your audience or like the people that follow yeah. you kind so, of enjoy seeing that's right i, I was always thinking uh, we had that discussion several times because mm. i was like okay i need a job maybe i need to job in a bar or like do something else mm -hmm. um not at the moment but i was like no i want to draw i want to draw i want to draw i want to draw and that's mm. all like that's so in my head and if you get stuck somewhere you I don't know. It's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of you pressure. Put on yourself, basically. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a problem that a lot of artists can identify with. For sure, yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> these anxiety moments where you think, oh my god, I'm not good enough. There's so many other artists outside. Mm. And can I make it? Blah, mm. blah, 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 blah. Yada, yada, yada. But um, I don't know. It's but yeah, I think in the end, like you have your own voice and you have your own perspective. So you just need to find the best way to express that literally That's right, yeah. and you need to kind of work on your skills for that but also like work on your personality or like on your vision yeah, basically yeah. so you really know what is it that I want to put out into the world like Kika right. said kind of like the purpose behind That's right, yeah. why you like to draw and then um, 
yeah, there's another sweet spot where that kind of meets, where your skill mm -hmm. set kind of meets the purpose that you want to integrate. Yeah. And that's, I think, like a really awesome moment where you're like, it's damn, beautiful. okay. I yeah. Know. yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. That's right. Cool. And I think it's important to to always be yourself and to not lose yourself during mm. this process because, um, um, yeah, as I said, I, I saw, okay, people like what I did, so maybe I should go more into this. If this would have been something I really didn't, didn't like, I mm -hmm. would never ever go into that. For sure. Because... Um, I don't know. I think you're losing yourself. Yeah, you're of. losing yourself. And yeah. it's so easy with social media to do that. Because yeah. You're like easily swayed by other yeah. people's opinions. That's right. We have 10 minutes, by the way, for you, Peter, and for our watchers. All right. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I had like a question that I thought about um, this morning when I kind of thought about what, what I could ask like, during the session. Um, so since you've just done studying at university, like, There, I'm sure there are like things about illustration and drawing and art that you learned <clears throat> at university, but there are also a lot of things that they don't teach you really. Mm -hmm. Like, could you say like maybe some things that you learned there, but also things that you had to like figure out for yourself that they never really taught you? So yeah, like I studied media design, mm -hmm. which is completely different than like I wanted to study illustration like that was something I figured out during the studies but I said okay I want to finish that yada 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 and so we had this visual development and um, there they showed us how to how important it is to have different perspectives and like to not start with one thing and like okay I will draw this right now but like maybe maybe observe the ball from different perspectives mm. like okay I will do like 30 thumbnails right now and I know it's hard mm -hmm. and I know everyone's sitting there like 30 <laughs> <That's a lot. laughs> but yeah that's a lot but mm -hmm. I, I went through this when I when I did my bachelor for example and if I wouldn't have done those 30 um, 30 sketches for all my illustrations it wouldn't have been that good yeah and that was something I had to pressure myself and I, I what I had to learn was also that, that the part of sketching is fun because mm -hmm. I was always like okay I will do a five minute sketch and then render it out and then it looked like it was a five minute sketch yeah just render. doesn't matter if you if you're rendering for like 30 hours mm -hmm. it'll look like a five minute sketch because the base is not good and that yeah. was something I learned this year yeah. Ooh, that's so cool yeah, yeah it's actually really good advice mm -hmm. I think it's yeah really so. crucial that like um, I, f I figured that out, uh, like, I had another, I, th I feel like as artists you have like these small little like epiphanies, like, mm -hmm. um, uh, all the time where like, like, realizing things that you actually knew before but you forgot and then you realize it again, <laughs> basically. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I had this yes. thing, I had this picture and it was like a really lame composition mm -hmm. and I re was like trying to fix it all the time, I think like, fixing it, fixing mm -hmm. it, it just didn't get any better and then it, at the end, like, the conclusion was just like, okay, if the composition is boring the thing is gonna be boring, like, yeah, you can that's render right. it and it's gonna be okay-ish but yeah. still you can't fix these early, early Spaces basic anymore. things, yeah, you know? that's right. Also, yeah. I get, guess, like, one other thing, if I can add mm -hmm. um, sure. is that the, that you have to draw things again, because mm. when I was uh, going into art and like, uh, at my beginning steps I was like okay uh, I will draw this right now and then I was at the end and someone said hmm, something's wrong with the left eye and I was like no 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 I will to totally leave that like that because I can't do this anymore again mm -hmm. like we're not beginners anymore and like also if you're a beginner start again because you will progress and, mm. and like if you draw 100 hats the the um, the last hat is the best hat of course mm. and I don't know so also for my bachelor I, I was drawing it again and again and again because during this process I was processing or going through a progress which was so big that my illustrations looked like they were like months or maybe years apart from mm -hmm. each other and I was like wow maybe I just need to draw it again and then yeah. I drew it again it was hard yeah. <laughs> for me um, it's frustrating it was like, frustrating mm -hmm. but when I saw the, the the thing in the end I was like wow if I wouldn't have drawn this again mm -hmm. I, it would have uh, looked much worse yeah for sure that's actually another question that I had for you but you basically just answered it mm -hmm. because um, like I said I've known you for one and a half years now mm -hmm. and you've improved like so much during that time and Thank I was you. just yeah like props really like, thanks I know you do a lot of work and It really shows. 
And yeah, I was I just wanted to ask you basically also as an advice for maybe viewers watching that are like struggling with getting better. Like what mm -hmm. is your main advice to like really progress um, in your art? <laughs> I guess this is something I'm still practicing on and this is please don't pressure yourself so much and please love yourself. Mm. This is so important. Like I was sitting there when we were recording, it was my first recording, I was like pressuring me so hard and then in the end I was like, okay, well, it's it's going in another direction than I wanted it to be, but at least I can make it fun, like mm -hmm. make fun out of it and, and failure belongs to progress. It's For so sure. important to fail, like mm -hmm. if you don't fail, you can't progress mm -hmm. and uh, that's something I've learned and I, I need to remind myself all the time, hey, sometimes I'm standing here and we have, uh, we have a live class and, and, and I'm drawing and I'm just trying and I'm just not into it and I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, today I can't draw, I can't draw, I can't draw. But if I tell myself, oh my god, that's so bad, that's so bad, it'll be bad. Mm -hmm. But if you say, okay, so that's an advice Helen gave me one time. She said, okay, um, get you a, a stupid pencil you would never ever draw with and mm -hmm. like try to make something cool out of that. Mm -hmm. And I think like pushing yourself or going into uh, out of your comfort zone mm -hmm. is so important. Right, but do it like like you said in like a loving and forgiving way, basically. Totally, like yeah. not starting with a complete different medium and like expecting to do the most epic yeah, thing yeah. ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Probably not gonna happen. <laughs> but if you just you know approach it with like a kind of like a twinkle in the eye, a little yeah. bit like okay, this is probably gonna be a little bit shitty, but then again, yeah. doesn't really matter right now. I mean, and also do it again, do it again, mm -hmm. do it again. As I said. Last year, when I, when I went to my first uh, internship, I had to draw hats, and mm -hmm. um, my chef said, like my boss said, okay, today we draw hats. You draw half an hour hats, and I was like, oh my god, like every day, every day half an hour hats, then an hour hats, and then he said, like, like draw it again, draw it again, and just five minutes per head. And I was like, but no, but I want to render, and mm -hmm. like, yeah, this is something I would not do anymore. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, just repeat the things like don't get tired if you really want to do it then you will you will improve that's yeah. coming by itself so mm -hmm. um and and it's so worth it to work it's so worth it to sit there but also to chill if i have art cr an art crisis or if I'm, i don't feel like drawing i'm not drawing as mm -hmm. i said like i'm doing music i'm watching mm -hmm. something cool on i don't know streaming sites and yeah yeah just chill like get inspiration kind yeah of, yeah um, unwind in a, a yeah. bit but also like give yourself the space to come up That's with right, new things yeah. and like gather your power basically or like watch other artists because that gives me most of my inspiration mm -hmm. like just seeing something like oh my god i want to do something <laughs> like that but in my way and yeah, then like yeah. i don't know mm -hmm. it's working like this i guess yeah um so there's yeah another i think we have like about four minutes something like that left yeah, three minutes left. three minutes okay cool awesome so yeah, um, last question I think I have for you is, um, as far as I know, you've grown up like in a little village and you mm -hmm. were kind of the only one, like at least in your family, that mm -hmm. was doing like creative work. How is that different? Like what's the main difference between being like creative alone basically and mm -hmm. being in an env environment like here where like basically all your friends are doing kind of what you're doing or like... It's like... Uh kind of crazy because I, I was when when I was younger I was the one everyone came to me when you wanted something to draw so I was like okay um, I think I can draw I can do this for you but I, I was always a bit like there was something missing I never felt comfortable there like um, I always wanted to go to Berlin and, and, mm -hmm. and like because I thought the people there were not as creative as I was and mm -hmm. I wanted to work on projects uh, together so I went here and when I got to know all, you all I just saw what I missed like um, the people can give you so much input mm -hmm. and I think I wouldn't have progressed so much if I wouldn't have been in Berlin in this time yeah mm -hmm. like around artists and around people who push me to my limits and or, or like who can help me and also yeah, it's a good advice to go into your community to, to find people who are doing the same what you're doing and then you can you can ask for advices, um, get help, uh, help people out and mm -hmm. yeah, so the difference was when I look back I felt a bit alone mm -hmm. and now I feel much more supported. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel the same way because I think, I mean, I think most of us have like this experience when they're like in school or whatever, they're kind of like the best 
yeah. a drawing in their class or like they're like maybe like two or three people that are okay and then you're like yeah. in this group but then uh, you're done with school and then you realize like oh my god there are like so many good yeah. people in the world it's crazy like I'm not even like yeah. touching anything like any horizon or whatever that, that's also a thing like if mm. you if you go into this community there will always be people who are better and yeah. that's okay because everyone that's is good at this point I mean there's a saying like if you're the best in the room it's time to find another room mm -hmm. so like yeah surround yourself That's with right, people that yeah. you get motivated by and they inspire you and stuff oh cool well I right. think that's it for this post thank you so much for talking Annabelle and thank you so much for modeling Suki <laughs>